Hey, you made it. I'm glad you're here. Are you ready for the last piece of the puzzle, the pomegranate? If you're new here, you might want to go to my website and get the free PDF and color chart and then watch the other videos I have on the apples, the basket, and the honey jar. All those are listed in the description box below. So is everybody else ready to get started on the pomegranate? Okay, let's go. Okay, the pomegranate, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be really similar to the apples, except for using, instead of using yellow and pink, we are going to use beige and purple. So, we'll start with our beige, and we're going to kind of lightly fill in where these lines are and up into this stem part here. Okay, now we're going to take some purple. I've got like a, a medium purple, not real light, not real dark, just kind of a medium purple. And we're just going to put some right in here. And I think right in here is where we're going to have our highlight. So we might remember to make a little white hole there. Grab some of this purple over in here. Put a little highlight right in here. Now I'm going to put some white in here. Next we're going to need our green for our shadows, just like we did in the apple. Some green down in here. Green. Now let's start adding our red. Now we're going to leave some of this beige because if you look at a pomegranate, it has some beige in it. So we're just going to start going over the purple and the green, a little bit of the beige. Okay, let's start some blending here. Blend color up into the brown. Back in with our red, make this a little more uneven, so it doesn't look like a straight line. Let's see if we can pull this out a little bit. Pull some of that color, so we don't have such a straight line. Okay, I think that's getting a little better. Okay, let's go over these stems and get those done. Add some more beige. We need our dark brown. You see a pomegranate, they usually have these dark tips at the very top. Put those in, and there's usually a little brown in here. Brown in here. Okay, go back in with your beige and we're going to blend this together. <clears throat> go back in with a little bit more brown. Just to sharpen that up a little bit. Next are the leaves, and we're just going to use the light green and the dark green for these. Uh, we don't want to use yellow, similar to the, the apples, so we're just going to fill these in with the light green. And then put a little bit of your white in. Now let's go in with the dark green. Okay, go back in with your light green, kind of start blending this together, adding more layers. I might just go ahead and put in a little more dark green the tips. A little bit more here on the base.
And all I'm doing here is just following some of the lines to define them a little bit more. Be careful as you get close to your highlight, because once you add your white, it's more than likely gonna bring in that dark green. Brush that off, add our white. Starting to look good. Now for this center area, it is a little bit lighter than this outside portion. So I'm gonna take some, some of this white and kind of lighten it up a little. Okay, let's get started on these pomegranates. Now when you look at these pomegranates, you'll see some, some have pointy tops. Okay, we're gonna do white towards the po pointy top and pink towards the bottom. And what you're going to do is do about half pink, half white. So let's start with the pink. These things are so tiny. Get, get in there and get as much color of that pink you can. If you go over the lines, don't worry, we can fix it later. thing about these tiny little spots, you always have to make sure you have a very sharp point on your pencil. The pink is in there. And now we're going to go with the white and fill in and kind of go down into the pink and blend it together. You don't want to pull the pink up into the white too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, you're going to have to have a really sharp red. What we're going to do is just put a dab of red in the bottom here. Now you don't want to really blend all of this out because all it's going to do is smear everything and make everything look really muddy. Okay, and next Finally, we're going to add some gray, maybe a dot or two on the white. Fill in this areas here. Just do a little gray. Kind of give a little bit of depth. And there we go. Pomegranate seeds. Well, there we go. We're all done. I think it looks pretty good. Now you can take a look at it and say, hmm, I like it just the way it is. Job well done. Or you might decide, I might want to add some more color to the apples. Or I might want to remove one of these bubbles. It, it just doesn't look right. Or I want to change the color of the basket to be more yellow than brown. You can continue and do, do that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to bump up the colors and fix some things. So if you wanna join me doing that, you can meet me over at Patreon, where we'll have a bonus clip of me fixing the page. Thank you so much for joining me these last two weeks as we colored the apples and the basket and all these other little goodies. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned something new. And if you'd like to participate in any of the full-length color long videos, please visit my Patreon page and join in there. The link is in the description box below, along with any of the products I used in my videos. Now it's time to pack your bags, your suntan lotion, and your swimsuit. We're going to the tropics. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you're coming along for the trip. So we'll see you next week, and until then, Hang in there and have fun.